Greetings, River Lady here, and welcome to Autumn 2020. Well, almost. Seven more days. I'm recording this video on the 15th of September, and autumn arrives here in the Northern Hemisphere on the 22nd of this month. So, almost autumn. But this video isn't really about autumn, or fall, as we like to call it up here in New England. It's about your hummingbird feeders, and those little jewels of Mother Nature, ruby-throated hummingbirds. Did you know that the average hummingbird beats its wings 50 to 60 times per second in normal flight. Go ahead and try it. Bat your eyelids 50 times in one second. Go ahead. I'll wait. You couldn't do it, could you? No, these little birds are just truly cool creations of Mother Nature. They have to consume half their weight every day, and they eat bugs and drink nectar, and they feed every 10 minutes. You're probably wondering what these little facts about hummingbirds have to do with autumn. Well, let me go ahead and tell you. Many people use the end of summer or the beginning of autumn as a marker for when to take down their hummingbird feeders. And I'm here to tell you not to do that. These people are concerned that hummingbirds won't migrate if the nectar feeders are left up, and that's just not true. Hummingbirds have an innate ability to know when it's time to leave their breeding grounds and head south, and they don't need you to tell them when it's time to go. They can figure it out all on their own, and they need to eat while they're traveling. And without nectar feeders, hummingbirds like this juvenile male ruby throat are losing a vital energy source for their long journey. Some hummingbirds are going to travel close to a thousand miles, 25 miles a day, to get to their winter grounds down in Mexico, and they need to eat. Okay, so what can you do to help ruby-throated hummingbirds? Well, first, keep your hummingbird feeders up. Keep them filled with fresh nectar. You don't have to fill them to the tippy top because you're going to change the nectar every few days. Clean the feeders periodically, add fresh nectar, and if the weather gets really cold where it drops below freezing temperatures, take the nectar feeders in and then put them back out. Keep the nectar feeders up well through October into November. Heck, up here in New England, we get Indian summer days after we get hard frosts. The hard frosts get rid of the annuals and the herbaceous herbaceous, herbaceous perennials. I'm never sure if I should pronounce the H. But anyway, hard frosts get rid of most of the flowers, but when the weather turns warm again, as it does during Indian summer days, we could still get stragglers coming through. And what are we supposed to say to them? Sorry, you can't stop here. Go someplace else to eat. No, we want to keep these little babies fed so that they're plump and healthy so we can see them again come springtime. I do get asked why there aren't a lot of males at the hummingbird feeders towards the end of the summer. And the reason for that is the males head south before the females and the juveniles. And ornithologists believe that the males are heading south early because they're going down to establish territories so that when the females and the juveniles arrive, the males are already there and they can just welcome them with open wings, saying, hey guys, welcome, come home, come on in. I've put a pot of coffee on for you, or a pot of nectar on for you. Once the season is over, take your nectar feeders in and clean them really, really well. Make sure they're dry, completely dry, and then store them until next spring. Come February, you'll be ready to put them out and welcome the new arrivals that will be coming your way to breed. I also recommend that you get yourself some ant guards and have them ready as well. I'll post a link to show you the ant guards that I buy. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get any money for posting it. I just find that these ant guards are safe and they're inexpensive and they're very effective. And look at this female hummingbird. Look at, she's just like this crazy little bird flying with her head upside down. Oh, one more thing. Nectar feeders aren't just for hummingbirds. Other birds will use your nectar feeders as well. 
and they enjoy the energy that they get from the sugar water too. Well, that does it for this video on reasons to keep your nectar feeders up through October into November for the ruby-throated hummingbirds. I hope you stay safe. I won't say happy gardening because this wasn't a gardening video, so I'll say happy bird watching and thanks for watching my channel. Bye.